Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Crusader Kings 3 as we continue our run here as Ireland and uh, a little bit bigger, you know, than we were not too long ago. We did pull in uh, the Isles as our vassal, which is pretty awesome. And we'll kind of keep on pushing that, I guess, as we continue going forward. So let's get back into this. Uh, we did just finish a tapestry for my courtroom, which is back here. Pretty nice. It uh, looks like we do have a feline hunter. I can gain a pet cat. Gives me more intrigue and learning. Uh, sure. I'll take a cat. Do we see the cat? Come on, that would be awesome if the cat was roaming around out here. I do not see it. All right, so we have a pet cat. Does that show up here somewhere? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? This character's cat is a prolific hunter. Is a prolific hunter of rodents. Gives me a medium health boost. That's actually pretty cool. All right, I like it. That's awesome. Um, yeah, looking pretty good. Available perk: Sound of Foundations. Each living child gives you one random skill point. Uh, we're gonna get five skill points then, right? Because we have a bunch of children. Nice. I think we do. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got five. So we got the full five. Actually, plus plus one. Because I think two of them are dead, unfortunately. But... Oh, she died in childbirth. That's really sad. All my children seem to love me. Maximum perk bonus reached. You've reached the maximum bonus... Mount that a perk can reach. Some perks like sound foundations have a maximum amount of skill. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have all this, all the children that we can get. Um, hold court. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Rivals in agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 100% chance that people hate us. 74% chance that we get manipulated enemies. Don't like that one that much. 100% chance that they actually like us more and we get a little bit of dread, which is not necessarily what I'm going for, but seems to be the best outcome possible here. Uh, the English Frontier. Frontier Ramparts. Um, Shared Burden. Vassal opinion goes up. I mean, his opinion goes down a little bit, but overall, vassal opinion goes up. I think I'm going to go with that one. The Day of Truth. Very well, proceed. Uh, so this is a survey. Okay, so this is just a survey of our land. Each of our vassals pays me five gold. I don't think that's what I want. Guess we'll pay for... A survey which in theory would increase our total like our money per turn a bit I had to mute for a second um i guess that's probably going to end up being the best for us even though it does put us in debt for a moment which is unfortunate hey my cat i guess i can enter a name for the cats gray mion we're just gonna call him gray sounds good Can't go to war with anybody anymore, so I guess we lost our claims. Uh, did the prince die? Is that, is that something that happened? I can't remember. Day of truth. Survey completed. It's done, my lord, states my steward, as he bows in front of me. Several months ago, you commissioned a survey of all your lands. Now it is completed, and details on ownership and land value are collected in this book. As long as the description is faithful to reality, your taxation will be more efficient throughout your realm. Steward land survey. Okay. I mean, it's not much gold, and I'm not sure if it'll eventually pay off its, you know, what we spent on it, but here's hoping. Efficient county tax is nice. Dynasty legacy. We had been going down this line. Get rid of some bad uh, traits. 
I'll start going down some of this other stuff. And feast cost goes down. Dread gain. Marriage acceptance. Just opinion of my family. Just, just, we're just one big happy family. I think I'm gonna keep it on this route though, because why not? It's kind of what we picked, and it seems like it's working so far. Uh, my son is of age. This is my twin, genius, beautiful son. There's my other son, obviously, of age the same day, as you would expect. He's only intelligent and beautiful. I guess I need to get them married off. Someone who is not related to me. All right, we'll just go. Well, okay, you're 30-something years of age. Probably, preferably someone a little bit younger. Yeah, we'll go with you. And then your marriage can be... Yeah, sure, why not? All right, cool. Looks good. Oh, I can't declare wars again. I just didn't see that on there before. Uh, we got actually a lot of claims now. What is this? Why am I not seeing that claim pop up? You get the petty kingdom. I mean, the kingdom would be better because it's obviously more land. I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a tougher war because he is stronger than he was before. But I think we'd still be okay in the long run, right? Bring in my wife's military forces, which is not much. I think I'd like a little bit more money before we do that, though. Especially if I can get enough money to build out some more of my forces over here. This is my grandson, who is a beautiful genius. And a lot of those. I'll have to get more of those other traits in here, though, and I really need to start working on that, probably. I um, guess we are now close friends. This guy is actually happy with me as well, so we can cancel that one. All right, anybody else we need to be friends with? Everybody really likes this. My Archbishop doesn't like me that much. Let's check these guys real quick. You're at 96. That's fine. Uh, what about you? You're at 65. So I guess we'll go after Archbishop dude here. Um, hmm. Which would it cost me to build some of these up a bit more? Get the mangonels up a bit more. Might as well max those out. We can be able to make it to Living Legend. That'd be pretty awesome. Oh, my antiquarian died. <laughs> the great, the troublemaker. My cousin approaches me, rage in his eyes, cat in his hand, held by the scruff of his neck. As he throws the cat in my face, I see that it's my dear Gray. I found this little monster among my things. What wasn't scratched to bits was covered <laughs> in a pee. I'll compensate you. He's just a cat. I mean, this guy already likes me a lot, so I'm not going to pay him for I'm not going to pay him 103 gold for pee. Come on now. All right, let's go ahead and do the last Mingonel. Get that just maxed out. Got a couple other things we can max out later, but for now, I think that's going to be fine. Get it back up to 100 gold, and then we will probably... Um, we will probably, um, go to war after that. Sorry. Patriarch. Nice. That looks like a good ability to have. Uh, 
Uh, every day, or sorry, each day it seems my court is abuzz with talk of the next banquet, and many have grown more, rather more portly as of late. The culinary activity is fueled by Mayor Juliana, Linda, and Tello's constant vying to demand the most memorable, memorable meal for my overworked cooks. Today is my courtier, Linda, who drools. My lady, tonight I am having the kitchen prepare the richest sauce known to man, served with a tin bird roast. Archbishop sighs disapprovingly. These fleeting pleasures are nothing compared to God's grace. Hmm. I just will say, well, we can't wait. Get a little more court grand uh, grandeur. We could go back to doing the thing, but I would imagine that it is would take way too long. Oh, pause for a second. I'm gonna cancel that. We're just gonna leave you on this or whatever you were doing. This is my granddaughter. Oh wow. She is. Wait, is this? That's a fame trait. Okay. Her physical traits are hail, comely, and intelligent. So she got three traits. They're not great, but, you know, as time goes by, we can make those increase a little bit, which is pretty awesome. Upkeep was constructed. Nice, 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 nice. So the other thing that we wanted to get, the reason we were going for the keep was because we wanted to get the ship right, which is very expensive. And we're a long ways away from that. So do we want to do that or do we want to go to war? I mean, there's no guarantees that we'll be able to go to war forever. It's actually very tight right now. Kind of a close war at the moment. Honestly, I think we'll hold off. I don't want to press our luck too much. Uh, as Gray approached me with yet another dead red, I can do nothing but praise him. The castle has never been free of rodents. Has never been this free of rodents before. Rat free for five years. Huge health boost. Good stuff. We do have some battles going on in our midst. My grandson, beautiful, beckoned. All right, is that the guy that we're going after? Yes. So we actually are <laughs> in a really good spot overall. Um, what about you guys? You're at 57 still. What about you? 71. So let's go after this guy. Good thing our swing is so successful. Yeah, I don't want to be rivals with people if I can help it. Available perks. Yeah, we'll go ahead and start going down this path as well. Why not? My grandson, who is just handsome. All right, I know what I said, but I don't understand why you find it so funny. Mayor Catriona cocks her head to the side while I withhold my chortle. I haven't told her what she said could be interpreted as something. I haven't told her that what she said could be interpreted as something lewd. Uh, she had a lovely chest on. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? I may not be alone in thinking this is funny either. Duke Schulte spat out some drink when Mayor Catriona repeated herself. The two could share the same kind of crude humor as I, or they could be offended by it. I won't know what either thinks unless I speak up. Sure. She's probably gonna be offended. Eh, one of them liked it, I guess. I don't know. I lose some stress, though. That's good. Uh, as I wake outside, I'm greeted by the, the sight of my vassal, Mayor Archer, crouching beside my cat, Gray, tenderly petting his head. It's quite the lovely cat you have, my lord. Cool. Go closer to a friendship. Uh, 
Land grants. What is land grants? Uh, fabricate claim on counter speed increased by 50%. Nice. And this cost is decreased by 10%. That's pretty good, actually. My brother died. Child of the court. So and so it becomes my ward. Eh, why not? Dust to dust. Um, okay. Uh, my village was hit by blight this year. We lost not only our crop, but our seed too. We have nothing. We shall starve without help. I mean, I think it's okay to help. It's actually in Thalman, so building construction costs and construction time going down wouldn't be bad. No, we'll just we'll just be nice. Celebrating another culture. My steward, Duit Banuslo, approaches me holding holding his hands like he often does. I have a brilliant idea. How about we host a fair or perhaps even a festival for the common folk to expose them to the one expose them to one of the different cultures in our beautiful kingdom? That's a lot of money. I mean, we could afford to lose a little bit of stuff. I think I'd go with this one. I mean, it's, it's, I still don't want to spend that much money, quite frankly. Um, you know what? Losing stress feels like a really good idea right now. King of England. Likes me better. Okay. What do we have here? We're short by 84. So 345. Renowned physician, huh? Gain some gold. <laughs> All right. More twins. We get a lot of twins. I've been a good vassal to you, but surely you understand that I have subjects of my own too. My current contract is very restrictive. Surely you will see the wisdom of making it more lenient. And besides, you do owe me. Is this because he has a hook on me? All right. Well, he's used his hook. It's fine. It's done. All right. Let's get out of the way now. As their high king, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? I win their unwavering loyalty. Generous liege. Um, fear is far more effective tool. I gain some dread. have more important men to impress. King of England? Gain some opinion of me? Yeah, why not? Let's go with that. Um, does that mean we could actually like ally this dude or something crazy? I guess we have to do it through an arranged marriage, huh?
Amazonian. Okay, that's impressive. Don't look like we can get an alliance. I, mean, I guess we'd, again, we'd have to do the marriage to get the alliance at this point. All right, can we build our shipwright? 21 gold. So close. All right, now we can build it. Uh, fellow vassal opinion goes up. Independent ruler opinion goes up. Can propose one alliance without a marriage. Oh, well, there you go. That, I mean, this would also would be good to kind of just get more claims and stuff, but this feels like it could be relevant in this exact situation because now can we declare an alliance? No. We can propose alliance. Oh, because he's at war. Uh, okay, that's fine. Getting a lot of grand grandchildren. <laughs> my family tree's got to be massive by now. Um, so my sway stuff is gone. Everybody here likes me. The only other one I guess we can go back to is Prince. What's his name? Can I sway you? Yeah, why not? Keep swaying you, and then that way we can ask for more gold as we go. That seems like that would be relevant. I don't want to declare war on England, dude. I want to be friends with him. Um, but how? What's your military strength? Your, your military strength's growing up. I mean, it's, it's getting kind of scary, to be honest. Just got a big old chunk of money, which we could increase our military a bit. Max these out. Why not? Could also have one more men of arms regiment. What? Zero traits? Be gone with you. That's that's rude, I know. <laughs> but it's so unusual at this point. There we go. There's some traits. <gasps> My court jester died. We can apparently be friends with the King of England. For now, it might play into our stuff. Thank you for your swift response. I'm looking forward to your correspondence. Please, I implore you, pick the first subject for us to discuss. Sure. Finer points of etiquette. Because why not? Negotiate alliances. Um, no, no. Because I want to save off and try to get the alliance here just because why not? Oh, he's actually in a war with France. Poor guy. Are you? And you're losing, right? So, good luck. Uh, how are we doing up here? Could we declare war on you now and be like a lot stronger than you? We're actually quite a bit stronger than you now. It says it's similar though. So maybe we'll keep building some stuff up. Could get us one more man at arms here. <sighs> Anything we're missing? We don't have any horsemen. Ooh, what's the difference between the mangonels and the onagers? Can we not? See the difference before I buy it. The mangonels being more expensive leads me to believe that they're just better. It could also be that these are just uh, like more uh, against forces as opposed to against walls, that type of thing. We've already got pikemen. We've already got bowmen. We've already got two sets of light footmen. I kind of feel like some horsemen would be kind of fun. Very expensive, but presumably extremely strong. So let's wait up till we get to 200 gold. Oh, the king does not like me now. 50-50 chance that we gain some opinion. Uh, we won't get as much opinion if we do this, but still get some opinion. <gasps> My vassal was taken prisoner. He was released. Neighboring ruler, ruler won his war. All right, so we got enough to go to buy some armored horsemen. Oh, we can see it now. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was going to happen or not. Let's come down here. What does this actually do? It is a siege weapon. 
Effective up to Fort Level 5. This is effective up to Fort Level 10. So it's just a less powerful siege weapon. Okay, fair enough. These counter archers. I mean, why not? Something kind of fun. They don't stack as high, though, which I guess makes sense. I mean, usually cavalry doesn't. I'd like to petition you to consider my claim for the county of Irperin. It is not right that Duke Guy should sit safely as a usurper in his castle, mocking my dynasty's birthright. This is my brother. Please, my lord, support your va loyal vassal by taking up arms if they will not recognize my claim. And where is this county of Kiprin? Where is that? Uh, way down there. What? Um, it's right there. Is that like what? I mean. Their military strength is superior to mine. Okay, no, it's because he's going to bring his. He's going to bring his. What's his name in? The king of France, which we can't do, obviously. That, that's that's absurd. Um, if it was just against the guy, uh, we'll say when the time is right. I mean, we can't. We really can't do that. Sorry, buddy. All right, we're going to wait to put a cut in there. We'll come back. We'll take our diplomacy perk and maybe go to war at some point. We shall see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.